Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting. Understand fear as I have. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippodesta. Welcome to episode 3 of the Uliot run of Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem for the GameCube. Hello there, everyone there in chat. Hello, Mayo. Hi, Sister Lupka. Hi, love. Hi, Left for Poop. Poopster. How you all doing? Alright, we're, we're definitely getting close to the end. We're not gonna finish the whole thing tonight. I'm fairly sure. I, what, I went through my previous runs and... I twice already I was like yeah we're, we're definitely doing all these final chapters that are humongous in one sitting we're not I'm not promising that so <laughs> let's get into it we got we got what seven chapters down right wait thought B that's right that's right we're going back to the Forbidden City tonight we're going to Forbidden City and we're going to Ublia Cathedral for the last time Face the demon. Well, the guardian. Those are the guardians, the big guys, right? How you doing, Mayo man? How's how's life treating you? Can you do you have a breather? So what were we doing? The last clue we got was that's right, the 108 keys. So we're going for the piano. But huh, the sanity is pretty low. <laughs> So who the the books are flying, but uh, it's not that. It's the banging that always gets me every fucking time that uh, door starts going pa 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 pa. I feel very uncomfortable because it's such an aggressively well recorded sound effect. The no the that one that one. Jeez, it's like <laughs> open up, <laughs> Mr. David. It's like that, isn't it? Give us the girl and wipe away the debt. That's the next thing they're gonna say. My life is shit. Is it? Is it like the depressing gym or, or the less depressing gym? Lupka, dear sis, well, thank you for the resub. Man, the months are just flying. I swear, it's just the other day you. I, I was saying this same thing. V very recently. 
Jeez. Well, thanks, sis. It's almost two. It's almost two years. Yeah, it's almost two years. It's almost two years of the uh, Blood Omen Soul Reaver. Well, Legacy of Cain marathon. I remember that's when. Oh God, I'm hearing it. She's chipping balls. All right, let's check the piano because that noise is giving me the creeps. It'll go away once we do it. Seeing the piano stirred up distance recollections of Paul Luther's story in Alex's mind, the echoes of those notes within the cathedral echo also within her own consciousness. Hands are drawn. Should she play? Wait, shouldn't there be... Yeah, there he is. I knew I heard him. The darkness is coming. It's a very creepy way to warn me about it, you know? The one doing with life. The, does the coin betray you? <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe. That's just your destiny here. Oh, wow. Well, since you're mentioning it here, we have with us in chat tonight the person responsible for introducing me to Outbreak. And, you know, the you got to say, it's the, like the, the, this channel is the consequence of thousand actions and thousand things that happened before it but that was one of those things definitely this guy uh the day i met met him he heard i like resident evil he had a ps2 i still didn't have a ps2 so he was like oh i got a resident evil game maybe you have you've seen it somewhere it's called resident evil outbreak and i'm like ah that's that must be re4 i've been waiting for that since re3 it's just like side game this is definitely re4 and um it wasn't RE4. RE4 came literally a month later, for us at least. But I like this better. <laughs> and here we are. Things haven't changed. 20, almost, well, 17 years later. Uh... <laughs> hey man, you just stirred up mutation. You just stirred up some hibernating love. That's that's all. You know, it was it was destiny. It was supposed to happen. <laughs> it was always supposed to happen. That game's been haunting me since since fucking 2006. It's always been there. And I had it on my shelf, you know, back when I had shelves. You know, remember those days? I'd be, I'd be looking at it like, man, I should really play more of this game. And RE0. And, you know, definitely changed. I played a lot of those games. Well, definitely more Outbreak, but, you know, play them. <laughs> How you doing, Joe? It's been a while. I haven't seen you since... It's the longest I haven't talked to you in uh, in a few days, in a few weeks, actually. Been pretty busy. As you know, you know everything, so yeah, I don't have to repeat. Good to hear, good to hear. Did you happen to talk to our friend Brown, maybe? I should, maybe after this stream, if I'm a good friend and remember, just try to get in touch with him. Did we, though? Did we? No, we didn't. Wait, who talked yesterday? You and Brown or you and me? <laughs> Resistance and Exoprimal. So you've been playing Exoprimal, Mayo. How's that going? Wait, we cert most certainly did not. We maybe chatted, but we didn't take talk. I'm pretty sure since Saturday. Unless I'm going crazy, but no, I haven't. I'm not going crazy. I have a feeling. Though, he's telling me I haven't... I, I, we talked yesterday. I'm pretty sure I haven't talked to Joe yesterday. I haven't talked to Sol yesterday. I was busy all day. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll give him a call later. Man, it's Dino Crisis minus 2.5 at this point. If Dino Crisis 3 was Space Crisis and fucking <laughs> Exo... So, I have nothing against, you know, online battle games, whatever. That's perfectly fine. But Jesus Christ, just make something new. You know, at least Gearbox tried, didn't they? When they made their own MOBA, whatever it was, like want to be Overwatch, that's not Borderlands, but they made something new, you know, and, yeah, oh, oh, if you think, if you mean, I meant in voice, Joe, when t exchanging messages doesn't count, it's like, how are you, I'm good, yeah, yeah, that was like, ah, but th that wasn't in voice, jeez, <laughs> I did talk to my sister, there you go, that's, she's, her story is true, so now everybody else there, you know, Writing down notes, trying to solve the mystery. Who did Hippie actually talk to yesterday? <laughs> it was no one. It was all in his head. You guys don't even exist, I'm pretty sure. Well, 
<laughs> I don't know, man. We gotta ask. We gotta ask Triton and you know his family. What's their What's their verdict on that? <laughs> Does it count? Does it count when Ariel was emoting all the time, or was that just her waving her arms and people just going, okay? Yeah, I've seen some of it, Mayo, actually. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, the, the, the funniest thing is the main character. So Regina, it wasn't Regina. She looks perfectly like Re Regina, but she's called something else. That also means royalty or queen, which is an obvious nod. Well, did they really talk or were they just cavemen? <laughs> hey, it's open to interpretation, you know. Alec, poor Alex is standing in front of the piano. I could do this and talk, I think. A, B, Y, X, B, Y, A. I like how they make that wonderful tune out of that. Me hammering the buttons on my controller. Victoria? What, what Victoria if it's not Victor Victoria? Chapter page is hidden inside the piano. Yes. Here we go, Forbidden City. Flashback. Flashback time. Show us some of the history. That we would definitely wouldn't be able to see just by starting the chapter. Who are you? Victoria, that's right, that's right. I am your lord and conqueror. What manner of forsaken that's right. are you? So, you can see me in my true form. A gifted man. Take this one and use him as the foundation for the pillar. Hmm, you can see me. Well, I'll fucking kill you. Then see who'll Be see whom. <laughs> Speaking of the suffering, I dug out the suffering ties that bind the second suffering. I haven't played in 10 years, 12 years. So I played the first suffering several times, the second one only once. And I first time I didn't like it as much because of all the halo. Um, mechanics that they put in there, like, you know, just two weapons being able, instead of the whole inventory, you just carry two weapons, then the self regenerating health. If you're low on health, don't worry, just take cover, it'll come back, you'll heal. I'm not sure if that's the consequence of the good, good morality runs I loaded up from the first game, but still, I remember why I didn't like it. Amazing game, nevertheless, very interesting, so I do want to do that soon as well. They're calling her majesty. <laughs> Speak freely, pee freely. Do whatever you want freely. Exoprimal should be F to P. Wait, F to P? Fuck to pieces? Fix to purchase? Welcome, Delmar. Welcome, Brother Delmar. How you doing, Brother Delmar? Uh, we're monks, apparently. Hello, Brother Mutation. That's a very bizarre name for a monk. Imagine a monk named Mutation. That'd stir up some confusion, wouldn't it? Oh, free to play, Pff, of course. F2P. I've... Did I see that? I don't think I've ever seen it abbreviated like that. I've seen it as... Nope. I haven't seen it abbreviated. Maybe because I don't read, actually. I can't read. I just... Letters. What? Why? <laughs> well, you know, if anyone would be banned, it'd be you. But sure, I guess I could. I would have to follow. Oh, shit. There goes my sister. Well, closing the channel. The Britney Spears game. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, Delmar. Well, Britney Spears is about to read some more. Uh, unlike me, she can read. Or at least she can read written in blood Much and flesh about the and whatnot. Of conquerors. In the context of history, one man's champion is another man's nemesis, hero or murderer. Much has been written, but what has not is far more interesting. The Tome of Eternal Darkness mentions a Venetian artist and architect of the Renaissance, named Roberto Bianchi. Roaming abroad to find inspiration, 
He was captured by a warlord. A warlord. His <laughs> that's very he generous. Roberto to use his architectural and engineering skills to construct okay, that's a done. monument to his greatness. To complete his task, he must survey the site. Hey, I'm not going to I'm not going to broadcast that, so but I'd still like you to stay in the chat, so <laughs> Yeah, I have that as well. Still haven't played it. Too human. That's right. My dear friend Mark, you whom you know, Mayor, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you Survey know. The site quickly, dog. I, this and was always funny to me. To His voice and the way he says it. Dog. But yeah, I have that game. I should really very soon maybe give it a try. See how it runs. Did you think we would trust you, Bianchi? Even though you are graced with the generosity of our liege, you are still generosity. <laughs> As I said, finish your work quickly, and maybe we'll drag you out of this hole. That's it. That's the part that cracks me up. Generosity of our lord. Fuck you down into the hole with you, dog. <laughs> we're not this generous to just anyone. Consider yourself lucky. Roberta must survey the ruins. So yeah, basically, we're in the Forbidden City, second to last time. Enjoy the music while it lasts. Because uh, it's not going to last. We're going low sanity. We're going to start hearing tripping shit. <laughs> no. Well, I don't know about that. Oh, did I? Yeah, I should have done the volume. Whew, I scared myself. You wouldn't be able to hear me if I didn't do the volume. Lupka, are you going to stream so we can provoke you so we can ban you? <laughs> uh, no. You get hundreds of subs if <laughs> there you go, Lufka, you're getting you're getting encouraged. Don't encourage her. Did you hear my stories when we were growing up? Are you crazy, man? You want eternal darkness to reign supreme? <laughs> That's adorable. That is adorable. Enjoy it, Lupka. <laughs> Absorb it. So wait, I should have the map already, because it's in eternal darkness. But they also, they were kind enough to mark the rooms I should survey. Including those two. That's one there, right? Oh, you, no survey there. But there's one there. Okay, that's the one I meant, yeah. I think that's, that's where Pius found the tablets. But yeah, we'll go through all of the rooms we've been through. What is this? I forgot which year it is. The, the cutscene says it. But we'll see, um, yeah, the cutscene says it, Let, let's check it. Cinema, ah, shit, gotta get to that chapter. Chapter 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Was it? No. 8, Flesh for the Pillar. That's the one. But does, it doesn't say which year, huh? Much has been oh yeah, it will. About the exploits of I just wasn't looking. Twelve sixty, eleven sixty. Champion is another man's nemesis. Zoom! Hero come on, CSI Earth. that shit. Much has been written, but what has not is far more interesting. The Tome of Eternal Darkness mentions a Venetian artist and architect of the Renaissance named Roberto. God damn it! If you don't pay attention, you gotta sit through the whole thing again. He was captured by a warlord, expanding his empire. He forced Roberto to use his architectural and engineering Too bad there's no fast forward. to construct a monument to his greatness. <laughs> to complete his task. 1460. Uh, 1460. Hippie, I didn't know there there is a game called Mizuma. Mizerna Falls. I thought it's Mizuma. Till Twitch recommended to me. There are so much interesting PS1 and PS2 games I never heard of before. No, I haven't actually. I've never heard of it, but yeah, it's true. There's still much more to discover. That's one of the reasons why I'm not so, you know, why I'm not rushing into the current or any generations. I still haven't played the Wii <laughs> because there's so much to play on the older consoles. You know, I'm never going to run out whole life ahead of me, you know, however long that is. So I believe that, man. And that's what I like, Delmar. They're still popping up great games. Even some games I've seen a long time ago, I've never heard of. This one, never heard of. Might be something I really like. You never know. So I recently discovered, thanks to a fellow streamer, Michelle Sui. He showed me a game called... Um, 
I always forget, Tor Tormented Souls, which is a, such a love letter to classic RE and Silent Hill. And Sasha and I beat it in what, like three, four days? Like every, every spare second we had free, like both of us free at the same time we played it. It was really good. And I've never heard of the game before, you know. So I should just write these down. Mizurma Falls, Mizurma Falls. That's why we have computers nowadays. Look at this. Look at me hacking, ma. Well, I mean, we don't have a 90s action cam onto my typing skills going, you know, and there we go. Hacked in. Copy and then pin. I'm gonna check that out. Thanks for that, Delmar. Baby, <laughs> baby likes uh Oh, he's got us. He's good. well, you know. Laughter builds really important muscles. That uh, when those babies grow up, they they are able to wield keyblades. So he's got to laugh, always laugh. <laughs> That's very good, you know. And usually in media, they show someone interacting with a baby. Baby goes like ah, but if he he's laughing, that's that's wonderful. Ah. Even with all the like horror sounds going on, don't don't show on the screen. Just just focus on the voice. Oh, hello there, workers. A frantic worker. So what am I doing? I'm surveying, right? Ladies and gentlemen, gamer, what am I doing? Surveying. What is up with this? This is, I think, where the elevator was, uh, for Kareem. Like 500 years ago. I do have I do have a torch, the ultimate weapon, so. What else can a man need? I went from there. Up there, there's nothing. So we can just check that corner. Somewhere there's gonna be a... Oh shit, really? I feel like I should be getting uh, the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Oh no, fuck. Yeah, I think I'm here too early. We'll come back later, just leave the zombie there. If I came from the right... Focus on the map. If I came from the right, that means this is the end. This is where Kareem went and it's caved in. Okay, I get it now. So we just fucking pass him if possible. I need a, I need something better if I'm gonna face them. Oh, there's a dead guy. He was killed by the zombie. Beasts. You, you just seen a fucking blue zombie. What beast? They're just chilling. Wasn't there a weapon or something there? Or is it gonna be here? Here we go. Yeah, that's what I need. I just need to survey, right? Examine, come on, examine it. Survey. Start playing Yakuza like a dragon. Wait, that's the same thing? Wait, like a dragon. Isn't that like... Uh, isn't that... What do you call it? A sequel? Uh, uh, a serious entry in the series of Yakuza? Like a dragon? That's what I thought this whole time. Is it a big game? I know John loves those games a lot. I watched him play one of those. Yakuza 0. Oh, Eternal Darkness, Joe. Only had this one, unfortunately. There was a... So Dennis Dyack of Silicon Knights did start the... What is it called? Uh, Kickstarter? Maybe some eight years ago for something called Shadow of the Ancients, which would definitely be a sequel to Eternal Darkness, but that never materialized. And, you know. Hello, mother of hippies. Zdravo majko, zdravo rajko. Kako ste? Oh, wait. Sword. The big guy, sword. Scythe, that's right. Kill the shit out of that zombie. And take its arm. Oh. Fucking fuck with me. In the butt, that's right. Sword him in the butt. Solving problems like a pro. So, just to reiterate, going back there, there's nothing. Absolutely nothing. 
but I did survey over there, so I'm gonna go down there, through that, and to the next room to survey. I see it. And one of those rooms will give me the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Man, I've forgotten a lot in a year. Amazing. Playing different games all the time. I guess somewhere, you know, brain space gotta be pushed out for new game information. Sega officially changed Yakuza into Like a Dragon because in Japan it was called Ryuga Gotoku, which literally means that. So it was, so the first, let's say the older localization was Like a Dragon. Oh, I'm sorry, Yakuza, is that what you're saying, Mayo? That sounds like that, yeah. Either that or Saints Row, uh, Del Mar. I'm not sure which. <laughs> the, the queen herself, Laika, has arrived. <laughs> All rise for the holy queen mother of hippie. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah. Even graphically, sometimes for me, it's hard to tell the difference between Yakuza and uh, Saints Row. Wait, I can't save now because, um, yep, the darkness is coming, whatnot. Should I have not done this? I haven't saved. You know what? Fuck it. Not that I played much anyway, so. Crossbow bolts, but no crossbow. Well, if they're a Mantarog zombie, I won't care, really. Nope, it's a fucking Chaturga zombie. First guy to kill in the game is a Chaturga zombie. Take his arm and the other arm. And then just... Torso boy doesn't want to die. And then definitely finish. Nope, he's coming back. He doesn't... Chaturga zombies just don't give a shit, man. There you go, finally. And then finish him before he regrows, because... It's like a picnic for him. Those guys can burn. Which is very good for me. It is about Yakuza. Well, is the first game about Yakuza or the whole series? A, a Yakuza? Seems like a crazy stuff. Crazy stuff game. That's the genre. Yeah, that's why I compare it to Saints Row. Because impossible fucking stunts. My knowledge of Asian gangs is just... I know that they exist... Triads, Yakuza, the third guys. Where do they fit? Which country do they come from? You know, who, what do they fight for? No idea. My biggest connection with that is like the San Andreas mission. When you got a, you know, the blind guy, what was his name? <laughs> you end up working with him. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I think of. That's how much I know about that. Wait, we have some... Yeah. They burn easily, and they're very slow to punch. They're like, ugh. A whole eternity later. Maybe just let them burn? We don't need the... Uh, yeah, we don't need the uh, finishers here, if I'm going low sanity. Which maybe isn't the best idea, not knowing even where I get the tome, but what? That's right, isn't it? Woozy, he called him Woozy, that's right. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Brothers and sisters... Uh, Mentorog zombies. They're just gonna end themselves. They're not really good at... How are these people working with three different types of zombies roaming around? There you go. I knew I was just supposed to press on. They're like, there are puzzles in this game, but inventory most of the time is right there. You just gotta look for it. Surveyed. The, the room's not good. On, on we go. Onwards. Onwards. Brave architect dude. He's going downwards now and then up again. Which will take him down again. Two floors down to here. That's right. That's where I want to go. Let's save now. I should be able to. Whew. So, 1460. Aha. Uh -huh. They do... Wait, people that work at Walmart do what? Eternal darkness? Hello, dear sister dirty. How you doing? You resting? You working? Did we get new additions into the hall of the tome? Yep, Paul Luther. 
got smashed by the Guardian. Never forget him, because this he'll never look like this again. He's just jam on the floor at this point. Work with zombies. Oh, you sure. <laughs> Man, I love, love those screams. The screams are just 10+. plus. Glad you like this game, Dirty. Did we get I didn't start on time tonight, yeah. My bad, but let's start with uh, Dirty here. Dirtino. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> mutations, yeah, mutations to all your duty. Now you gotta fight him in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Flashback time! This is just to tell us that quickly it imparted the uh, knowledge of the Eternals into his mind. Scouring in fear. Yeah, alright, so a horror is about to fuck us over. Oh shit, 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 I wasn't looking. <gasps> they did not see me. No, don't do that, don't do that guy. Just quiet, stay quiet. Shit, that was so fucking lucky. <laughs> Let's kill at least one of them. I'll save the other one in case. Well, I have spells now. I have nothing to save him for. Bye-bye, little buddy. <laughs> say hello to... Wait, no, wait. I said say hello to my little friend. Disrespecting me, walking away from me when I'm threatening you with the crossbow. I shall not have it, sir. Now I sneak. Dirtino. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Yeah, mutation, Mutation's been helping out a lot <laughs> since you left us, Lupka. Things haven't been the same. Look, old Roberto is limping. There was no one to help. Hello, Gamut. Will you, Gamut? <laughs> Alright, let's go up. Collapse scaffolding. Sure, but what about the... yeah. No, I won't. Well, so apparently he won't, alright? So wait, these are blue. Blue Guardian. Shit. Son, that's not good. Blue, blue, red, green, blue. Yeah, that's right. Alright, now we gotta... We gotta be very stealthy here because... That Uliot zombie is what worries me. Plus, he can spawn more of them. And they can explode, and that makes this a lot harder than with the others, so... Just sneaky sneaky to that zombie. Slowly, easy does it, can't hear you. If I just shoot him with this in the face... No, I need the... I need the... It reloads really slowly, so... I think I can just... Down, boy, alright. Don't let him spawn more of them. And then just shoot him in the face. And time it well and it'll work. And then it takes a whole fucking eternity to reload, but you know, you just rinse and repeat and it'll be good. Don't let him grab you, because if he does that, that's really bad. Why did I not hit him? I call shenanigans. Woohoo! One more time. Maybe it's time to switch to the sword. Yeah, I'm out of um, out of that shit. Oh no 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 no! That's what I was afraid of. Shit. That's not good. Right? Yeah, just hit him again. That's just a trapper. Good. 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 Come on, dude. Open up. Oh wait, wait! I should be. Woo! Okay, don't let him. Shit, will you fucking die, dude? Oh, right, okay. The walls are bleeding. He's dead. Good. Right. Totally had him. We can summon zombies now. Good morning to you, Gamut. Oh, you were playing Outbreak last. I assume on the weekends. Great, Gamut.
did it work yeah all right here we go so it is you know the, the whole elgato crashing thing definitely has something to do with either uh, nvidia or windows updates because since the last batch of updates happened we only had that once when google drive was updating which i don't again it's all, it all comes back to that so every friday yeah friday evening for you that's saturday morning for me well, that's a good one joe love the colors even at like, like even at this minuscule size they're burning brightly all right so i'll ignore the fucking trapper can't scare me i've already been scared to death so i'm just gonna go before this room bleeds to death it's below still the same answer man as soon as i can uh, oh no that's a horror isn't it it's gonna take my sanity but i'll be okay as soon as i can uh, hear the game while streaming that's the game so everything else like i said Oh, it's green, is it? That's green, isn't it? That's definitely not blue. Oof, oof, oof. Not good, not good. Let's go up there. Actually, you know what? Don't go up there. Don't be afraid of it. Just spell list. Red, green, blue. Red. Five. Red. Sword. Nope, I'll have to go up. He won't let me. He's not gonna let me, but uh, here I should be safer. First of all, he's tripping balls already. So, I was gonna say, it's definitely a game where I wanna hear whether I'm a survivor or a killer. The sound is super important in this one, like way more than in Resistance and Evil Dead and you know anything else we've done of that style. So, it'll be there. Into the face, there you go. Kite. If it doesn't work, kite again. Never give up. Woohoo! One more time, I think. Yeah, there you go. He's dead. There's nothing here. Nothing to survey either. I'm not gonna finish him. I don't wanna... I shouldn't have restored my sanity, probably, but, you know, it's okay. I wasn't sure if something's gonna drain it to that state. Oh, that's the horror he was talking about, the guy before. The guy that was cowering in fear. 1460. 14. Why is it so hard for me to remember this way? I always put it in 1200s. So, we want to do the same now. We want to summon a zombie. Summon zombie. Doesn't matter, let's say Uliot. Attack with A. Target with R. Attack the head to perform no. Start releases. Okay. But well, we wanna. They can open doors but not pick up items. But well, we want, just wanna have him suicide here. For some reason, that's the lock. Like, you gotta sacrifice someone to open the door. Imagine. That's gotta be a PR nightmare. Oh, he's rotting already. No one's cleaning this place. It's just like dead people everywhere. And they're the workers. Like. What happens when you when they're all dead? You just buy new ones, I guess. I mean, it's not beneath Pius. Where do I want to go first? That's a good question. Oh, here we go. Help me, Grandpa. I can't take this anymore. Don't be so weak, Alex. You have a stronger mind than this. I didn't bring up a weakly. Not a scared wretch of a girl. You kept all this from me. You kept me alone. You shared nothing with me. I couldn't. 
I could never give you the burden. I just wanted you to grow up. To grow up and leave me alone. Grandpa stripping balls. Why couldn't you have been killed with your parents? Does she know? I've never figured. This can't be happening. Does she know? And why do they keep? Why do they? Why do these people here keep seeing her? Okay, that's the one room down there. Let's go there first. They keep seeing her, you know, as a. Uh... Oh, the sanity is down. Yep, he's he's tripping. Are you fucking kidding me? All right, so uh, it's red, green, blue. So we need blue, blue for me and you. Enchant five, Julius. Sword again. Gotta cut him good. <laughs> when really, huh? Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw Controller. You know, I could wire it if you're crazy enough. I could make a converter. or I'm pretty sure you can buy a converter for... Uh, for uh, Yeah, the, there are. Actually, Xbox One and Xbox Series X accepts the same controller interface as Windows. So, there's a good chance you can use one of those... USB to PS2 converters and have it done, you know. That would be like imagine that. Imagine streaming. You get you would have to stream with your camera on, Joe, just to play Texas Chainsaw Massacre with the uh, Resident Evil 4. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, Joe's a real Bubba main. He plays the Hitchhiker as well, very well. But he plays Leatherface amazingly. I like that he likes like. Raw attack power, raw strength and speed. So Leatherface works great for him. I, on the other hand, like to sneak and like surprise them and you know lurk around corners. So I play what's his face? I want to call him Tommy. Johnny, the guy they added for the game. Just sweet. Like we had some really good co-op. And yes, Joe, I would really love to stream Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but I gotta get that audio into my ears as well on the stream and you know all that in order to you know because what's the point if I if I'm playing a game deaf or blind maybe it's like a perpetual challenge <laughs> I'm playing game without sound maybe I should put that in 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 my uh, description you know their screen description playing games without sound hello Najuni good day Najuni how you doing well good evening actually Was Naj playing? <laughs> State of Decay 2. Oh, that's the Minecraft Undead game. Yeah. I've seen it. I actually played it a little. Well, Joe, I can tell you the same. You know, since we've started playing together, I honestly, I don't know if I played five games altogether solo. But yeah. I seriously slow down, slow down in leveling up. That and you know, probably didn't have the time to sit down and play it. But yeah, it's got a big deal of how I rearrange my time goes into that. <laughs> Maybe you want a battle, but the stream is still on. Imagine playing, yeah, imagine playing Sun Hill without sound. Well, yeah, that's a good example. It's it's a different. It's a different approach because in Silent Hill it's just criminal to play Silent Hill without a sound. I, I no, no. <laughs> but uh, yeah, in this one it really helps. In Texas, it really helps for me to hear where the survivors are hiding. You know, which is part of the whole tracker thing. So my ears help me with the audio part, and uh, this guy's skill we can track. We can track literally follow footsteps. Helps visually. So when you combine the two. You know, you need you need patience for this game. Not this, I mean, the, for Texas, right? You need patience if you want to outlast the victims. Because they all crowd. there's no penalty for crouching in the grass. And they're even encouraged, you know, they're hiding for their life. It's not like in DBD where, hi, huh, you've hidden for too long. We got to make you do something, otherwise the game's falling apart. So here's some crows for you. They'll fly around your head 
until you know we re we deem you you are welcome to come back into the game and play on fair terms again. That's my view of the whole crow mechanic from DBD. But in Texas, no, it's you want to hide in there forever. Just fucking stay in the grass, you know, until the killer gives up and goes do something else, and that's where you just spring out of the grass and you're home free. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Silent Hill's mood is built off the sound. Texas's mood mood is built off of your ability to stare at a corner, stare at a single piece of a yard, and knowing that there's a little fucker in there, you just hear their footsteps sometimes, but you can't really see them. The the the, the grass is too uh, <laughs> too tall. Sometimes you just stab in the grass like a maniac. Neighbors passing, like, hey neighbor, what you doing? Uh, Big moles, I don't know, just stab in the grass until you hear, ow, it's like the episode of Bugs Bunny with uh, with with the magician, w which magician was it, I think it was even like a real magician, it's like that, you know, you stab until you hear that, ow, <laughs> and then you know you found them, so it's a different approach to sound, but yeah, imagine playing Silent Hill silently, on a hill, no less, on top of a hill. <laughs> Man, that sword's been spinning for a long time. Alright, Roberto isn't blessed with uh, physical stamina. Definitely, that's not his strength. Keep low sanity. This time, I'm not gonna fuck myself over. I just need him to... Oh no! There was a trapper. I thought I was way far back. All right, never mind. I can I get the free heal. Let's heal. Wait for red. Don't heal sanity. Heal health. Isn't it wonderful? There's a. They're red anyway. So. Wait, really? Die. Resilient bastard, are you fucking kidding me, man? <laughs> That's why I don't like fighting Chaturga zombies, man. I need an enchanted RPG Die, that still please. lives. They're really tanky. I mean, he is the Ancient of Body, but still. First head, then at least one arm. Just to make sure it's harder for them to grab me. When they've lost both arms, that's when you win. No, arm. Not a really good angle for me, but... Oh, wow, that was fast. You know, the, the sword being enchanted definitely helps. No! Close up. Run. He's gotta close up, otherwise he just gets a free hit and it. If he touches me, he summons a zombie. Please die. Please die for the love of ass, dude. Okay. So that sound, that wow, wow, that's him continually draining sanity. The room is gonna lose its color as soon as this fucker's gone. You don't fuck around with them. You always make sure they're down and out. I mean, I guess you could... You could fuck around with him, but you just waste time and you need to kill him to pass. Here we go. He's about to get it. But I still need one effigy. None shall enter except the chosen. Speak. <laughs> you are the chosen. For many years I have tested those who came here and all have failed. You are unaffected by the power I wield. And thus must surely be the chosen. Solid logic. Once I was as you were. Confused and without answers, yet they came in time. Now my duty is complete. I can finally rest. My sacrifice was not in vain. Poor Kareem, he's 
Still second sad this chapter, but sad. There she is, right behind him. They've just been locked in eternity. They've been passing this giant crab claw for generations now. Roberto can feel the acidic touch of the artifact's magic reaching toward him, using a shred of cloth from his robes to shield his hands, retrieves the hovering artifact. Yet Pius never found these things in all his time. Ruby effigy. And we need to find the sapphire effigy. The room appears to be an incredibly ancient shrine to the ancients, as noted in the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Could this be what Roberto's captor seeks to preserve with his monument? Could be. I mean, that's where his ancient also came from. All the, I mean, essence of the ancient. So I don't know if you guys figured out. I, would, I didn't talk much about this, but uh, those murals in the in the Cambodia temple, you know, in the Khmer temple, they definitely, they, you know, they're kind of unambiguous. But the ancients aren't really. So unlike in many of these horror type games, they're not like ghosts or anything like that. They're literally aliens. You know, that came to Earth a couple thousand years ago. Wait, did I just leave and I can never come back, right? Fuck. Or am I tripping balls now? Yep, I'm tripping balls, I'm pretty sure. This can't be happening. Damn. So that's where the guy was. That's where I came from. And that's the that's where the tome can be set. What what's up with that room now? Human bones lashed together for a small shrine, blah blah blah. Yeah, but it's it's useless. So it's useless to him, huh? Because this is where Karim went down to open the he put the book on that to open the passage, but here it just I like that. It just remained there. There was no... Why would they remove it, you know? I mean, the developers. It was here. It was just caved in and you couldn't enter from the other side. Really? You really... You know, you gotta connect with the with the levels, dungeons, whatever you want to call them in this game, you know? It doesn't pay off to just blindly run through the game. As you recognize areas, you see how time has eroded them. New tunnels are built, old ones collapsed. Holy shit, I'm fucked. Uh, is that blue? That looks like blue. When it's blue, well then fuck you. Last fucking second, amazing. Let's be headings first. Oh, they can hurt each other. I love that. When, especially when they're blind. I want to keep them like that because I don't want to. I don't want to. I, wa I don't want my sanity back. So I need them to die. No finish him. We need low sanity because we want to witness the crazy stuff. There you go. All dead. Now, since we're entering that very dangerous area, at least I think it's a dangerous area. <gasps> you got me like after all that stuff you got me game oh my god <laughs> uh, for a second i thought i fucked up i pressed the wrong button that's that's how they made it because you'll press bb and that's it all right so did you save i'm gonna yeah i'm say make sure it's actually saved yeah it wasn't saved <laughs> Uh, after so many years, so many times witnessing that, I have succumbed to the trickery. Oh shit, that's right. Once I do something, they're gonna turn against me. I know that. So I just need to survey this area. <laughs> there, and just one more room there, and that's it. <laughs> Screw those guys, there's nothing important here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, 
Why am I tripping more balls? I shouldn't be tripping more balls. There's that room down there. I think the effigy is here. Hello, Nikolai. How you doing, Nikolai? Welcome. Shit. We need... A Zeke crossbow. Die, bastard. Shit, I think I killed the wrong one. More, any more of them? Aha! Uh -huh. Vibration. So somewhere here... Over here, yeah. I gotta use Reveal Invisible. Well, which level? Reveal Invisible. Oh, fifth level. Let's say, since it's Uliot, I'm gonna say green. Let's see. Yep, there you go. Blue. Sapphire Effigy. So this is a missable. This is for a, let's say, side quest. If you want to have a very powerful weapon for the for the final boss. Oh shit, I think I'm locked in. There's the key I need. Okay, that's the key I need for the door. So I did I actually went the right way all along. Nope. They can burn. Leave those guys to fight each other. Uh, he's blue, right? No, he's green, actually. Red, green. So I need Chaturga's enchantment. Enchant, red, scythe. I don't think a zombie's gonna end uh, a horror, but, you know, weirder things have happened. He's just shocking him with electricity. That's enough to kill him, I think. And then a smack. Oh, better step away. There's nothing else to kill. Chaturga's just not giving up. Look at him. <laughs> you sure he's blue? Nah, he's definitely green. Please tell me he's green. That looks like green power to me. Green Ranger, go. Yeah, that's green. He's getting uh, stunned by the red. Definitely green. Alright, I'm as crazy as they come right now. Do I want a piece of my sanity back? No, I'm going all crazy. <laughs> Wait, that means... Oh, I see the key because I used the uh, magic before. That's right. I wouldn't be able to see the key at all if I hadn't used, uh, you know, to find the effigy. So basically you could find the effigy just by... You know, finding the key here and going back in time, I guess. Man, his stamina sucks. Run! Wait, sh should I have surveyed this? Hello, Sexy Wesky and the Weskerites. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Welcome to Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. How you doing, Wesky? Is Wescaroni with us? The Forgotten Corridor. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, okay, the game. There's a zombie party there. It's playing with my sanity. So it's gonna be very often now. The game's gonna be playing tricks on us a lot because sanity's dead low. So we're safe because I won't know what's real in a moment. How you doing, Wesky? How's Dead by Daylight, man? Where were you playing? Killer? Survivor? So I need the key. Nemesis and Wesker, of course. So you were playing yourself and you were cosplaying as Nemesis. Gotcha. It actually makes a lot of sense. Okay, so we need shield here to pass because it's electrified. Spell list, shield, but we'll put Mantarok. Actually, Uliot. I just love his voice.
Come on, you gotta hold on. You gotta hold on. You slow poke. Oh, jeez, that was close. Okay. It's going great, man. I'm having a blast with this game. It is, again, <laughs> one of my favorites. Oh, I just realized I'm out of uh, mana because of what I just did, so that's gonna be fun. I'm going crazy. Oh, shit. I'm playing with low sanity, Wesky, so that my character would be tripping balls and we get to see a lot of sanity effects it's crazy just now the game tricked me after knowing it for like 15 years playing this game it tricked me that it deleted my saves for a brief moment but it worked you know still i may be gullible but <laughs> how did how did you uh, we are off into uh, Dead by Daylight? I haven't seen you play that in over a year, I'm pretty sure. No problem. Thanks for raiding me, my friend. The man babbles incoherently, incoherently about worms devouring his countrymen and that Roberto will be next. Huge worms. Sacrifices. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. That will be the last, will we? Oh shit, yeah, the worms. It wasn't fucking round. They're draining sanity. Down, boy. Wait, isn't this a room to survey? It is. Yeah, there you go. That's, this is the new, this is actually new. We haven't seen this part of the temple in any of the stories so far. Ugh. Now I think it's just a matter of running back. We got the effigy. Yep, that's the most important thing in this chapter, actually. We need all three effigies in order to... Will I, do I have enough? Run. We're about to find out. Ouch. You can do it. Whoo, that was close. Like I said, his stamina does not win. <laughs> he wouldn't win any races, but hey, we love him. He's selfless. Mantorok's voice. I, actually, that's one of the very few things in the game I was never on board with, 100%. I always expected Mantorok's voice to be the most commanding, but... Oh, look, there's a spider on the screen. Ah. <laughs> Sometimes there's gonna be a lot of them. You can't tell if it's, like, on the screen or... Or on the floor. Ah, oh, there's a lot of spiders now. Are they spiders? There's some kind of bugs. Please don't let, let don't let there be a horror. I can't. I really. I don't want to fight a horror game. Or like maybe anything. Just go out, get out of the chapter. On to the next one. Next one's not gonna be breezy. It's the final chapter in Ublia Cathedral, so... Oh, there's a... We left a... We left a... What are they called? A trapper. Just easy. Slowly. Sneaky deaky. So on, sucker. Ah, Jesus Christ. I left one there as well. Okay, we can kill this guy. He's not important. There's more? Is that it? They're blind. 
but what they lack in sight they get you know they make more than make up for with their hearing and uh, you don't want to be near them well they would just teleport me to the trapper dimension but it's a hassle you know well he's still cowering they're it's done man i've cleared it is you gonna stay there forever well we all all are i know that but still dude I'm pretty sure some of these guys are going to turn on me any second now. Not much. Oh, it's just dripping blood from the walls. Okay. I was going to say not many sanity effects. I guess because it's done. We've seen shit. No reason to do that now. Just the bleeding walls, huh? And what news do you bring me, architect? The, the, the foundations are infested. You ready for this? Demons and devils. Many lives will be lost if you try to build there. You have done well to complete your goal, Bianchi. The construction will continue. But you knew plan. that. You fucking knew there are the demons, demons and devils. You'd be insane. Was he just torturing him? Silence. Tormenting? Dog. What dwells beneath the Forbidden City is the very reason it was built. It is true, but he knew that. To understand, you must witness it firsthand. Let me educate you. Guards! Put this one with the others of the sacrifice. Well, he gets immortalized one way or another. I am the scourge of God, appointed to chastise you, since no one knows the remedy for your iniquity except me. You are wicked, but I am more wicked than you. So be silent. Is he screaming in Italian? Architect. You to make your largest contribution to this project. That's the guy we just play with. It just kills so many people you control. This needs a funny caption. This really needs a funny caption to lighten up the mood. And that's what happened to him. We still want to fight the eternal darkness? <laughs> the planets are coming into alignment. They're coming behind us. Alright. Insanity setting in. How crazy can we get? So what's the next step? I've learned what? Did I learn anything from this? Someone else is going to bring the chapter to me. What the hell? Wasn't someone supposed to bring something? No. Did we learn a new spell? Summon zombie. That's not enough. Summon uh, trapper. It's not the piano. Where do I get... Where do I get that chapter? It's not there. Oh, I know, I know, I know. The sound. I missed it right as I got out of there. I could load the game. It would be faster. It's right where we ended the chapter. Loading? Yeah, there you go. The sound that we heard was like the survey sound from... Uh, 
from the chapter. There we go, where the monument is. Should Alex try to survey the area? That's right. An unseen force guide, guides Alex's hand towards the painting, compelling her to look behind it. She reaches out and pulls back the painting and discovers the chapter page hidden behind it. A sense of familiarity overcomes her and as the chapter page comes to her fingers, so does the realization that the Roberto spirit is aiding her. A war to end all wars. Oh, this is the creepy scene. I re <laughs> this one always gets me because of... Like, this guy approaches, already looking like the death itself. Look at him. But then Bias doesn't give a shit. He just keeps doing his thing. What is he doing there? Making pate? Have you tried salad? It must remain and guard the artifact until the time of He's very dedicated to whatever he's doing. The guardian may return to its lair. Our master does not like failure. It is imperative. How do you say F without lips? Magically? <laughs> just fucking nothing just keeps doing yeah find it fuck you you're the one who's whining about it all right next chapter here we go a war to end all wars the war to end all wars hi raziel well we're actually we're gonna we're gonna have raziel here over 19,000 men lost their lives every day in the trenches of the somme some say uselessly. Michael Bell, that's some right. Some invoke a higher cause. I read accounts of the slaughter from many journalists who spent time in the trenches, but I found the account of a certain Peter Jacob to be the most horrible of all. His implication about the ancients' involvement with the war was hideous and so obvious. With the horror of the Battle of the Somme scant miles away and the distant echoes of pounding artillery, a young journalist named Peter Jacob researched his latest story from the front lines. Yeah, grim the, task brought the him Oublier to Chorus. Now transformed into a field hospital. This is going to be a crazy chapter. I find no solace in the there you go. That's Raziel. Zvo Raziel is the voice actor. He even looks like human Raziel. Look, he looks just like human Raziel. So this is his like pre-Seraphon days, or this is an alternate dimension. There's a church. Like this is so Legacy of Cain, I have no words to describe. I have a lot of words, that's a lie. I just used a lot of words, I could use more. He looks the part. <laughs> Bombs flying, shit exploding. Soldier's letter lies on the table, waiting to be something. I was admitted to this hospital on Tuesday. The damage caused to my legs was slight, but there is no way that I could ever walk normally again. I hate this place. Every day I'm reminded of, that I will never be able to do the things I love. The hospital is a very strange place. Converted from an old cathedral, there's an odd atmosphere around it. Silent, but the words of the wounded calling out in the night. There is no doubt that it's haunted. What I find most odd in this place is that you never see anyone leave during the day. It's just not right. No goodbyes or farewells. Just an empty bed when you awake. I don't know why he's married Southern, but he apparently is. There we go. I thought he was a Brit British soldier, but you know, they came from all over. Covered with blood stained sheets. <laughs> uh, that's horrible. So I always forget where I, where I'm supposed to go here first. Hi, nurse. Can you direct me to my next rest? Yeah, that's not gonna help me, nurse. Nurse, I need my next quest. That guy is not coming home. Better take his shoes. I don't know why we can zoom in on him like that just to see him suffering. Here you go, you uh, sadistic bastard. Sealed envelope. 
Oh, that's right. We need this. Open. Soldier's orders. Private Thompson, by order of Lieutenant Hargraves, on behalf of her, His Royal Highness George V, you are to leave your post of duty and re rally in the street outside Ublia Cathedral. Further orders will be presented at a rallying point. God save the king. Because we uh, sure as hell won't. <laughs> I'm too scared to save the, 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 the king. Oh yes, Dubka, we were really hoping to play on the weekend, but you know, things happen and you know what happened, so... Um, there will be time. That guy's not gonna let me through. They're bombing the church, but he's not gonna let me through. What is that? Can't take it yet, because this guy's guarding it. So we're just gonna go send old Jimmy into the war. End his suffering. For now and always. Gonna need the book for that. Gonna need something for that. So the only way we can go is back way. Let's do a save. We're really already tired. You're a journalist, man, for crying out loud. You should be agile and, you know, climbing the fences and whatnot. Maybe he's not a paparazzi, that's all. <gasps> Holding his chest like, <gasps> I ran five fucking meters. It was horrible. Can't go out. I could go here, I think, but I would find absolutely nothing. Or less. I do want to be here uh, before they turn. Morphine. In case there are some supplies, because we're gonna need it. There's so many corpses. There's another letter. I've been here for over a week now, and there is no word when I will be allowed to leave. Strange things have happened. At night the sound of the hospital change. Echoes of voices that don't belong to anyone haunt the walls and corridors. The restless ghosts, perhaps, or sounds of movement, or whispers. I have seen war firsthand, and the sounds at night in this hospital scare me more than I ever thought possible. What is going on here at night? Why do I feel so threatened? My fears are worsened by the talk of the other young soldiers. One said he had heard cries for help in the middle of the night. Cries that were only answered by snarls of rage and not compassion. Another said Lance, another said Lance Corporal Haskell, Haskell has not been discharged but has gone missing. Uh, maybe he has gone killed. I stare at his empty bed with a sense of unholy dread gnawing at my heart. <laughs> we'll remedy that, Lupka. We shall remedy that. Anything in the bell tower? Ding dong. Oh, can't even ring the bell tower. What kind of church doesn't let its visitors ring the bell free, huh? Alright, Reginald, we're gonna explore what happened here. What kind of shit fuckery has befallen this? Obviously not evil and haunted church. Private Haskill. Haskill! <laughs> I don't know, just... Private Murdered. Private Deadski. Corporal Funeral. He's bored. Alright, let's send him into action. Guard unfolds the orders and begins to read them <laughs> before exclaiming, Bloody hell, lad, we must be on the offensive. Following the orders, he takes leave of his post. And so I killed the man. The end. Well, he would have died anyway. Well, that's just a beautiful image to walk into. Hehe. <laughs> Small comfort for the occupants of the room whose spent corpses lined the cold cathedral floor. They had no place to shove him anymore. Ugh. That's war for you. And that starts the chapter.
Is it time to go into the eternal darkness? Yep. Robert, Roberto Bianchi. Hell, there you go, Mr. Bianchi. You got yourself a statue. Flashback time. You are now officially in action. Wait, what do I have? I only have the revolver so far, so I should probably avoid everything. What is this? This I think this yeah, stun some enemies. Wait, I'm pretty sure there are some zombies creeping around there. I gotta get a torch though. Where the fuck do I get a torch? Just ignore them. If you don't look at them, they won't look at you. Or you know. Just burrowing inside her. Blue guys. Alright, blue guys. Fuck off. Oh shit, there's too many of them. I'll have to go downstairs. Woohoo! I think this is where I'll find the torch. Oh! I need more water. Come back for another round of... What would that be called? What that kind of mistreatment? Like mental torture? So she's just playing dumb the entire time? Or she wants to believe that's her grandpa, huh? Try to fight me, but in the end, you shall succumb to my desires. My foolish child, you don't even know your own destiny. Get away from me! He always has the color of the ancient he's uh, trying to bring back. This can't be happening! Oh shit, shit, shit! Wow, that, okay, that's when the cutscene fucks you over. Run, run, run! Whoo, wee! Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Why did I do that? Recover. Which it'll work. There's gonna be a torch somewhere here. I'm almost sure of it. I'm pretty sure of it. Rifle, but I'm not gonna find the rifle yet. Let's check here. I kind of have a memory of it being somewhere here. Or was it with Luther only? Alright, the pistol can take care of them. Don't even have to be. They all dead? Alright. Where's the torch? One of them isn't real. Right, is that why I'm here? I guess not. Oh yeah, because there's a... I'm trying to restore the power, that's my first step. That's right. We're gonna do that now by using one of the... One of the spells we haven't used much. So first order of business was it... I think when I pull it, it's gonna short circuit, right? Yeah, okay, steam generator first. 
So where was that? I walk in there. There should be a door. On the opposite side, that's right. Hard to see from here. This isn't really happening. You see that? He shot the screen. <laughs> well, we can kind of make light happen. We can make light happen. What magic is it cheating? I don't know. Old, rusty, but faithful for many years. <laughs> five minutes of singing, hippie. <laughs> is it five minutes, though? Or did you just make that up? Here we go. Put it in the gear. In the gear. Put it into gear. That works. Here we go. Pull the lever. Show us a good time. Oh, shit. All right. Yep. There's still more. 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 I gotta fix that. That's too much. Too much time for that. Gotta lower it to three minutes. <laughs> three minutes. Where's the... Oh, right. There, there it is. Here we go. Sending my familiar. Oh. Which one, though? Which one? Uh, can't... <laughs> It even explains why. Let's send the Nuliot one. <laughs> it is, uh... It's tiring, trying to do five things at once. Goodbye, buddy. Buddy, buddy. Trying to hide from the horror, he had barricaded himself inside the room before succumbing to his wounds. Goodbye, hero. He was blocking the door. <laughs> Fair enough, sis. Fair enough. Seven point summon ring. I mean, magic ring. Oh, shit. Now it's time for the little tedious part of the game. Relearning all the spells with seven points. That part isn't automatic. So just bear with as I do this soon as I bring the power back. Where are you, power? Wait, where's the fuse thingy? What am I looking at? Sing, puppet, sing! <laughs> I will. As soon as I find my circuit... I need to jam a coin in my circuit. Where are you, circuit? I want to jam a coin in my circuit. Oh, there we go. It's been there all along. A fuse box. So, jam a coin in it. The simple solution. A lucky penny. Amazingly, it works. The fuse has been replaced. <laughs> Pull the lever. Learn the truth. Now, did, you guys really want Eternal Darkness the musical, do you? Power's back on, I can see with my eyes. I have the power at the tip of my hands. The Eternal Musical. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. Just keep pushing me, it's gonna happen. Now we can see. But there's nothing left to see. It's just a cold room. Cold storage room. What are, they, what are those called? EP. EP the Z musical. Ha ha ha. Popular in France. In some way. Oh no, I'm getting tiny. No, help me. Oh, cruel fate. Why am I becoming so tiny? Reality. Here I am back at my full size now. <laughs> I want to check the rooms. Sniff all the letters. Oh, it's not a letter. I've been tricked by the game. That's no fucking letter. Magic. 
Give me a letter. It's like the Mary Celeste. The day has this hasn't been touched in some time. <laughs> a half written letter bespeaks silent. This should be like the slower part. Unfinished activity. There was literally nothing here. I got the bullets. That's all I had to do. <laughs> Pretty slow to reload this revolver, so... I don't know what he's looking at. I don't like it. I'm gonna save the game and hope for the best. Oh, they, they just despawned. I shouldn't have even killed them. Am I getting attacked in the dark of the night? Ooh, a rifle. A rifle lies on the altar, probably discarded by a fleeing guard. <laughs> hey, if you've ever been, you know, if you've ever watched an opera, you know how this would go. Oh, save Damon. Damon. A piece of very old paper sits on the pipe organ. Pipe organ? Sheet music. Oh, I I would. I would really hydrate love, but I have nothing to hydrate with. So just give me a second. I'll play some music and then... Uh, mm, and then I'll do it, you know? A, B, Y, B, Y, B, A. Was that it? Yep. No? A, B, Y, X, B, Y, A. Yep. Oh, thank you, love. I will probably... It's not that I'm lazy to get up. It's just that I'm very entrenched here while streaming. What are we looking at? Please tell me that's not a... Oh, thank you, love. Oh, I think something just saw me. Something that drains sanity. Oh, it's the little fucker. Door handle. Yeah, we need that. No, 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 no. Shit, shit, shit. So the first few didn't hit them? No, this is not gonna work. I need stronger weapon for these fuckers. Oh, you wanna... You, you've... Didn't we go with school? Maybe we didn't... Yeah, different classes went to different things. We went to... I'm pretty sure we went to... Swan's Lake, whatever it's called. In English. Is it Swan's Wake? Well, Swan's Wake. <laughs> yeah, that's the horror version. Swan's Lake. Uh, in English, love, as well. Wait, I have no melee shit yet, so it's mostly guns with this guy, huh? Oh, stretch. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Enchanted. Ah, I have been enchanted too. My... Ah! Let me go, let me go! I don't want to play! Just gotta, gotta have him jump on me and then... Ah! Why is it not hitting him? What the fuck is up with this? Red, green, blue. Green goes to blue. Oh, God. Oh, did I save recently? Oh, they can hit each other. Oh, why is it missing? Okay, don't go for the head. The lesson is don't go for the head. Oh, I can't. I can't aim. All right, got to get out of here. Got to get out of here. No, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Ooh! Ooh! I'm dead. I'm so fucking gonna die. Ooh! Ooh! Okay. Jesus fuck. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Oh no. Oh no. I'm tripping balls. Heal. Why is this, Why did this happen now? I wasted so many good bullets on those guys. Oh, shit. Okay, I gotta go down, I guess. No, none of this really happened. This 
I'm actually dying here. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right, let's let's get out of this mess. Uh, new spell. Gotta relearn all my spells. It's uh, let's go one by one. Protect area, and then a lot of bargain. Need the ultimate heals and uh, and everything now. So <laughs> I didn't want to do it right away, and I paid for it. Self protect. Why not? All right. Um, what else was there? Absorb. Self. Recover. What else do we have? Enchant item. Okay, that's absorb item, I'm pretty sure. Par pardon, pardon, pardon. Item. Oh no, project, I think. Protect? Project. Yeah, there you go. Reveal invisible, that's absorb area, never cut the red gomorrah, I'm pretty sure. Area, absorb. Yep, then what's left? Damage field, bank rock red gomorrah. Protect area. Oh, one more bargain. Then the spell magic is Netlek Red Gumor. Dispel. Literally dispel, dispel area. Okay, summon trapper. Okay, that's gonna be summon horror now, finally. Creature. Summon. One, two, three, four. That's the... Oh, we have all the spells now. That's it. All 12 of them. Bravo me. Three, five, but not seven. Okay. Summon Trapper. Shield. Summon Zombie. Spell nine. What the hell is this? I don't even know what spell 9 is, but apparently I have it. 10 and 11. And 12. So those two only in the in the highest form. Sure. So what do I need now? I need first recover 5. Shit, no mana. Okay. I guess just try to survive, recharge mana and come back. Because the last save was some time ago. Man, it can turn on you no matter how much you know the game. 642. I don't even want to check where there was. The lack of sanity caught up to me, definitely. Not enough magical energy. Hoo wee! Just a little more. Keep walking. Don't move now. Alright, with Vitality up, it's gonna be much easier to restore mana. To so just run like a headless fly. When stamina runs out, then just walk. I mean, this is the strategy we, we come to use when fighting the darkness, guys. Running in the corner. Look, I'm racing a rat. Maybe that's like a test from the ancients. Can you outrun a rat? Let's restore some sanity. Not all of it, just some, because they're gonna drain drain it. Recover three. And then some health. Oh, not enough. Not enough. Mana stranger. Right, full health. Low. His sanity is pretty low. I always forget that. I think because he's, you know, in more modern times that he's going to be good with sanity. But no, man, he's in a war. Of course his sanity is low. It's wonder he has, he has any. His uh, health is pretty good. And his mana is amazing. But his sanity is just, woo, so easy to go down. 
Finally, we'll have to enchant the rifle. How many bullets? 16. Okay, 26. That's still a lot of bullets. Hoffman almost there. Oh, he's tired as shit. I right, better let him rest for a while. What are you, a casting stranger? <laughs> I'm casting for my life. Life. Halfway there. All right. I'm going to do it. Here we go. All right, you little blue fuckers. I'm ready for you, I think. If I'm not, I've just made a save so you can suck it. Ten minutes later. Why is it missing so much? See that? You're seeing that, right? Fuck that, and I'm not gonna fight them. I have a better idea. Why waste very limited ammo on bastards that don't want to take a bullet? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cast Reveal Invisible right away, because we need a 7 point Reveal Invisible for the door. That's the challenge. That's right. So, uh, keep the rifle, I guess. For now. Because we're gonna find the sword from before. Is that enough? Yeah, alright. Reveal Invisible. Seven green because it's Julia. There we go. Just avoid the fuckers. There it is. That's what I need to happen. Screw these guys. They just want to jump on my spine and they never want to write back. They never want to call me back. I bet that's where I'm gonna find the. Uh, yeah, there's no handle. I bet that's where I'm gonna find the torch. Either there or with Anthony. Rifle ammunition. That's a lot of ammo. I'm not, I'm not fucking with these guys without melee anymore. It's just useless. What is he looking at? What is it there? What you seeing, boy? What is it there? Let's make a save and I'm gonna run for the opposite side just to make sure, you know, I didn't miss the cathedral part. Because it kind of looks like I could be going there, you know. Ignore him, he just wants to lie to you. Never call back. I somehow think I, sh I, I missed... I missed a melee weapon somewhere. Yep, it's open. I'm gonna go in there and bet the sword's gonna be in there, is it? Torch, 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 torch. Nah. No, 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 wrong button. God damn it. Well, that was a little man. Don't you love it when they finish themselves? <laughs> Need some melee, I don't want to fuck with these guys. Naked like this. There's the torch, I knew it. Alright, my ultimate weapon, that's the first thing I should have gone for, but now we know. Supplies, war supplies. Yeah, this room is easy to miss, but it really helps. Oh, wait, really, dude? Because that worked so well the first time. There you go, that one guy. He gets a finisher. The rest of you don't. So, but that's still not a sword. I'm fairly sure you get to wield a sword with him. I'm not gonna do just physical attacks forever. Ignore him. Don't let him touch you. He's got a very sexy touch. 
Just don't endure it. There's the sword. I knew it. That's what I need. Like, fuck firearms with these guys. That swords are where it's at. Wars raging on outside. Yep, with the two-edged sword on my side, now it's easier. Didn't play it often enough to remember, you know, to go right here. This really helps now, especially with the with the assholes. Mr. Asshole! I said Mr. Asshole. Now he's gonna pop out of there. You just slice him in the face and he's done. There you go. And that's the way that cookie crumbles. Fucking trying to shoot them with the gun. Cheating bastards. Ah! Alright, you push him, you help him. On his quest to die. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, okay. Ah! Alright, I think it's time to heal. Sa safe to say it's time to heal. Not an easy chapter. Definitely. Let's go three point. A lot of craziness is gone as well. Make a save, since I don't remember well. Not gonna fuck around. It's torch time. It's locked. No! Am I getting bigger? I I'm growing, man. Look at that. I'm, I'm becoming huge. Well, that's rarer than the tiny player one. Woo! No! Don't worry, they're gone. Gotta love how they're left. You'll find them in the same room with the missing limbs and everything the way you left them. Down, boy. It's not enchanted enough. Is it time for the ultimate enchantment? Let's do that, actually. Let's see how it works. Enchant, 7 point... Zelotath. Oh, that's not expensive. It just takes a long time. Hi, big boy. We're not gonna finish him. So let's check the map. I came from there, so the first next one is to the left, which is here. Oh, look at that the tiny horror and tiny zombies. Oh my god, what you. How is it? Wait, Joker, I killed him with one hit. Oh my god, it's so tiny. Alright, game, be a troll. That was good. 
If I do say so myself, but finish the zombie instead. Ah, zombie's gone. Never mind. Oh, we're not getting what we wanted. Never mind. Let him die. Locked. So there's a door there. Wait, wait. I came from there. There are two more doors from here, huh? Let's go here first. Hmm. What can I refill for me? Well, health maybe. Let's touch one of them. I'm gonna let it take me so I can refill my health and tiny bit of stamina on a zombie. There's definitely gonna be a zombie there. Well, I was lucky it didn't change at all. Maybe it hurt me. Oh, isn't that wonderful? There's a horror waiting for me there. Let's see how this works. He already fired the electricity. Yeah, bye. It's so everything's so slanted. But right, kill the other guy. Don't fuck around. Good. Slice and dice. Another letter. Oh, it's still our old pal, <laughs> Reginald Jackson. Go, go, Power Rangers. Because of the colors? It's been two weeks since Hus Haskell went missing, and I'm afraid to go to sleep. More than once I saw shadows of people moving past my bed, peeking through the blinds to see a wounded soldier being taken from his bed, drugged and delirious in the dead of the night, never to be seen again. As Haskell was, perhaps as I will be. What happened to them, I do not know. I am afraid to ask what happened, for I know that I would surely be next to next one to be taken into the darkness. <laughs> it has that quality to it. But none of that will help us. Let's save. Just in case. I'm missing a heroic deed. Slide inward. Seriously? How many... No more, okay. Oh, that's not good. That means we're tripping balls still. Trying to leave the room, yeah. Uh, be right back, guys. I love the loading speed of the GameCube. Everything just comes from the disc and comes so fast. You can hear it hard at work. Finish him, finish him, come on, before that little bastard comes for you. Where's my pistol? Oh, away with you, demon! Key lies upon the accursed shrine, glinting in the soft candlelight. A binding hole key, alright. Anything else here? No. Not as far as the eyes can see. But beyond that, we shan't know. Scary.
So we're back here. Two more ways to go about it. So this one's just locked. What about this one? I'm pretty sure the key is for the door I just saw, but let's let's check. <laughs> well, I promised my wife I'll shave. Uh... Oh, are they there? I'll have a shave after I uh, graduate. So, you know, I did. Believe it or not, I did keep a beard because I think they just got the... They took me more seriously. With a beard than without it, you know. Because it's all kids there and... I do have a baby face, so I'm pretty sure they, were, they didn't realize they were wasting an old fart's time. Whatever the reasoning, you know, I did say, I did promise Sasha I'll do it. So. Oh yeah, we'll need this for the boss fight. It's totally skippable and very useful. Childish or young? Because childish means something else, I think. <laughs> Alright, we're out of here. What's the situation on the bullets? Pretty good. Six. Oh. Three more. That'll be what? 29. 26 time. Hmm. One more. You can add bullet by bullet, there you go. Now it's in proper form. And this? I'm gonna need it later. It's 10 each time, so yeah, okay. Away we go! So like immature. <laughs> Alright, here we go. No, calm down, you crazy bastard. Wait, is it really boss time already? Shit, be right back. Sasha likes it, and that's all that matters. <laughs> nope, they're for real. Depending on which side you're hitting. This is it. We're going to the boss, so better get all this all the sanity I can. <laughs> yeah, how dare she? Wait, what's my sanity? A shortcut recover a sign. Five point green. Yeah, we're we're gonna put it up to five. It's time. Let's do one more. Look how normal I am with high sanity. I can like the the screen looks pretty friendly now almost. One more hallway and we're fighting a boss. Soldiers cold and stiff bloody <laughs> body. Ooh, no face. We'll call him Mr. No Face. Magical attack. That's right. That's right. We have magical attack now. Where is it? Where is it? Five, okay, so we need Anterbok and Red Gomor. Project area. That's what we're gonna need for this. I'm pretty sure a 5.1 because you can't cast, or even a 3.1. I'm gonna check now, but it's one of those. So let's say, no, I think, I'm pretty sure it's a 3.1. So let's do it. Assign 
is going to be blue, so we're going to go with green. And uh, to the right. Shield. I do want shield there, but... Uh, Is Ma is is Mantorox shield any better? I'm not sure actually myself. Let's let's enchant that and let's enchant that. Gonna need that for the zombies and that and uh, yeah, let's save. This is it. Just before the boss strikes. Maybe just some little health. Recover. Red. Get ready. Here we go. Boss time. Oh wait, still not? No, it's it's coming. It's beyond this door. Corridor is ended by an elaborate door decorated in a manner much different than the others within the cathedral. Peter senses an unbearable evil beyond that door. When he reaches it to open it, fear creeps into his gut and begins to eat at his soul. Should Peter open the door? Yeah. Do it. Don't play with me, boy. Man, GameCube really looks good on stream, I'm not gonna lie, that's very pretty, the frame rate's top-notch. Almost looks just lo lo like what I'm seeing here. There it is, that's what we need. Can't get there just like that. Hi there. Hi there. Hello. Your demonic majesty. Oh, my butt. That's a proper reaction. That's like, that gets reaction trophy from me. <laughs> Just fucking shoot it in the face. He's summoning a zombie or zombies. Three of them. Gotta kill those before we can do anything else. Wait, what? Oh, it's different for him. It's not even the zombies. Fuck you, buddy. Yeah, eat it. That's right. He does the mind trick. Alright, he's gonna step it up. Just eat it. <laughs> oh, now it's time to fuck around with these guys. Don't let it sink. My machinations are timeless, Peter. Your life is not. Yeah, I just hit him by accident, that's why it's reacting. No. 
All right, I guess you gotta do this. Okay, there he goes. Oh shit, I should use that. Shit, too late. So as soon as he does that, I just gotta... Don't be too close. When he starts chanting, he's gonna get weaker after that. So I think I can still get him. There you go. There you go, and then... Okay, it's gonna work. Just... That's right, that's right. Whoo! Equip. Equip, yeah. Summon them, you bitch! He doesn't have quite a physical reach like uh, like Chaturga's guardian had, but he's doing all on. Excellent timing. Excellent timing. All right, just finish him. What the hell? Did you just pack the gun up? He just packed it up. Sanity effect. Need some of that sanity now. I gotta keep it up now so it wouldn't turn against me at a critical moment. One more time before he finally uh, pushes back or pushes towards him. <laughs> Here we go. He's getting tired. There you go. So he's gonna try to trick me at least once. Oof. Oh, oh, gee. That's the last one, I think. Fuck you, guy! Man, I haven't played Ulioth in a long time. He's not e hes not really there. Like all of Ulioth. Hey, a fun fact, I don't know if I mentioned it, but... Richard Doyle uh, voice voices both Pius and Ulioth, so... When Pius is graveling in front of Ulioth, he's actually graveling before himself. I just thought that was fun. I love voice acting in these games, you know, knowing more about it. But here we go, we got it. With the guardian of Uliot vanquished and the stained glass that kept it hidden lying in pieces, the essence of Zelotath is now liberated. Its magic beckons to Peter, calling to him. He approaches cautiously. Should Peter retrieve the essence of Zelotath? Fuck yeah! Reaches out but pulls away, corrosive magic, yada yada, wrapping his hands, blah blah blah. There we go. Exactly. 69 years later. And that was wink, how wink. I came by it. 
I know it sounds crazy, but there you have it. The only proof I have is that statue. Hmm. It's a strange one. I've seen one like it before. You have? Yes. Very rare, though. Very obscure. I've had experts take a look at it. And none of them know what it is. And you do. I'm somewhat of an expert on these things myself. An interest I developed a long time ago while I was a young man. Then you should keep it. Lord knows I have no interest in it. I'm sure it's the cause of my sleeplessness. I keep thinking about it. As if it's calling out to me. It's telling me, drink, Raziel. For I gift. know you, Raziel. For an unusual objet d'art. Alright, so Gramps had the Zeltat one all along, but where is it? We're gonna find out. We're gonna do three chapters tonight, apparently. It's gonna make, make it easier for the last episode. A small penny. Yeah, here we go. Okay, now we can finally check the basement. Alright, she's already cracking. Yeah, I can't believe I dilly dallied. Help me, please help me. That's right. I can't get the blood out. Horrible. Um, with all the like talking and really taking it easy and slow i'm not in any kind of rush here we're already here shotgun fuck yeah shotgun woo blessed and brains Blast and brains. Nice ammo. So the game is telling me, like, you know, it's time to pick up the slack, little one. But so let's put Peter's lucky penny in there. Very weird. Very weird obstacles in this house. Like, I know it's it's a trope of 90s and early 2000s survival horror but uh, still you know it's kind of funny <laughs> this is what was stopping us a fucking fuse no flashlights in 21st century yeah I can't open it yet so Gramps built a whole section of the mansion so he could um, get to Enga, the city of ancients all right so oh shit the, the 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 ceiling's bleeding better call a bleed repairman there we go the painting has now completely gone devil style with the nipples and all that flappy skin bleeding ceiling it's quite the sight to behold Can't get the blood out, hey? Oh, there's a page in there. Wait, what's in here then? Max's letter. I sought to love all, yet now love causes me pain and suffering. I have learned to fear nothing, although it is nothing that I fear, that I most fear. All that were loyal to me now number among my worst enemies. He was slipping. Why did Gramps just leave that line around? Legacy of Darkness. <clears throat> you are not free to leave this plane until you complete a task for me. Oh, it's gonna be a long one. I can finish it. And kill the master of this house. So this is Do this one thing present. And you will this is free. present day, basically. Else fear the wrath no, wait, it isn't. This is the 50s, the 60s. 
the fifties. Can't you teleport faster, man? That's like the crappiest teleport. Everything is complete for your arrival, Master. Now it's the same voice actor, just pay attention. And that is not too many years from now. Another Royalist has crossed our path. This time, we will not be so merciful. Mercy has no place in this world. He will meet such a horrible death. That the rest of the line will never set foot in his house again. Pray to me that they don't. Awkward staring just for graphical effects. Alright, I'm gonna read the page while the house is bleeding. It's gonna be a very romantic night for me here. Nineteen fifty-two. You already had like good My facial hair. In psychiatry did not prepare me. I would love to see how Freud's view of his mother would change with the knowledge of Chaturga. How Skinner would incorporate Zelotath into his behaviorist theories. How Jung would accommodate Ulioth into his theory of the collective unconscious. Like my ancestor Maximilian. I, too, had an interest in my family tree. As a psychiatrist, I believed that science could provide answers into my family's sordid, bizarre past. It was with great excitement that I began my search. The mansion's history was filled with my colorful predecessors. Everything from convicted and hung witches to committed madmen, each laying their own peculiar mark on its character. I intended to find their secrets. His eyes look weird at the final frame goes a little lip. <laughs> All right. Yeah, talk to the nothing. No, come back, Lupka. It all hangs in the balance on you being here. No, I'm kidding. Just go do what you got to do. That vase is surely not going to be important. I'm fairly sure. Oh, liquid courage. To restore sanity, huh? See you tomorrow, Lupka. Lupka out, Boundy in. Hi, Boundy. Good morning, Boundy. How you doing, girl? Oh, gee. Instantly a cutscene, huh? Eduardo. Ayuda me, Eduardo. You know who I am. Eduardo. Why are you creeping out your own ancestor? I mean, descendant. Your best not to believe it. I am or was Maximilian Roybus, your ancestor. I died. This is Michael Bell again. He's bringing the breeze with him. Sets the clock to the 33rd minute of the third hour. At least he gives us some, you know, gives us info, not just hanging there. Magic pool. That's the spell I had. All right, magic pool. That's for restoration, isn't it? Yeah, I can't use it yet, though. Just to scroll. Don't have the hands either. So now I'm going to save because we're going to have a side quest to save the help, the servants. Because if we don't, we get fucked. Oh no, that's later. Okay. When the, when the, when the vase falls. Well, good morning, Boundy. How's the morning? How's morning treating you? Considering it just... Wait a minute. Minus seven. 
Well, that's that's not morning. Hold on a minute. I've been tricked here. That's not morning at all. <laughs> I had to do a heavy math here, but I have the answer. Apparently, eight and a half minus seven. That's one and a half. What did she say? Something about solace? Solstice. Yeah. Okay. That's just how people speak, isn't it? Wasn't it like that in your day, Granny? You guys just spoke about solstice out of out of the blue. It's like, ah, have you seen the calendar? It says it's gonna be salty soon. Idle chit chat. So nothing here yet? No? No ammo? No nothing. No nothing. Cleaning my new holes and eating my Oh yeah, I've seen, I've seen the, wait, meds? Is it because of the holes? I've seen the holes. But it's not that we're hammering away the keys. Yeah, okay. I know what you mean. Because I would have had so many questions, but good thing I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Can't go there yet. All right. At least I got a sword. Hey, that's a good sight. A, a good start. A saber, no less. No fucking around with Edward. Starts roaming the house, his own house, with a saber. Can I decapitate the boss? On God, vase. No, don't kill the help. Jesus, why would you auto lock onto them? Good thing she didn't see you. She'd be cowering in fear. The painting is nice again. Well, again, it's nice before, you know, because we didn't do the... We didn't summon the devil yet. So to speak. So this is what the side quest is going to be for. Wait, no, that's the wrong room. Wrong room. Brooding melancholic paintings and on the walls. Strange choices of decoration for a bedroom. Each one sees with a virulence that could only have been wrought by an unsound mind. Moind. Hey, guy. What's up? Um, why are you? Have you tried to poison me? Why would you ask if I'm in good health if you haven't tried to poison me? Oh, okay. Oh, gee. Oh, under active. So that's the opposite of like the usual, isn't it? Did I get that right? The master bathroom. Woefully Spartan and barely contemporary. For like 50s, that is quite Spartan. Not gonna argue there. Hey, quite so, my good chop. I am going to leave this room now, good servant. And going into the other room. Please, take care of it. Many thanks, Master Edward. Senor Eduardo. All right, senor. Aha, this is the room I'm looking for. Shotgun challenge. Elephant gun ammo. This. Edward is reassured at the sight of the family gun cabinet. Itself a priceless antique. He would rather not have to smash the windows to get inside. But where did you leave the key? Now, this is one of the funniest ones. You know how I said weird puzzles? Like, very unnecessary puzzles. You could just go into a room with a flashlight without having to fix the fuse but it's you know one of the tropes of the 90s survival horror and this one's one of the funniest so in a minute all hell's gonna break loose but he's still gonna be like no i don't want to break the glass of my ancient mahogany family gun cabinet i need to find the key and that's what the side quest is about like saving the help because one of them has it all right Historical journal, history of the Royvos family, 150 years, yada yada. Hand of the clock. Long as it's not the hand of Jude. The bathroom. Oh, quite Spartan. Muttering to herself as she works, the servant comments, comments on how the mansion is never really clean. That's what uh, Max also uh, noted back in the colonial times. Oh, dear servant. Oh. Uh, 
as the memory of Max, I suppose. So what am I missing here? I got one hand, but we need another hand, so I'm missing a book or something. Let's look. What about the clock downstairs? Could the clock have a book? Or, like, maybe just rip a hand out of this clock and put it into the other clock. 333, huh? Uh, where could it be? Is it gonna be like a package? Someone's gonna send me a clock hand? Hands, I'm looking for hands, clock hands. Can I get some clock hands? Clock hands, cock hands. Throw me a bone here, game. Hammering away at the keys. Best way to play. But, uh, you know, if you don't know how to play. Shit, where could I be, where could I be missing that clock? Oh, the book in the library. I think he had a book in the library. The one he was reading in the intro. That's right. That's where the other one is. Gotta love his build. He's very... Like, thin legs. Long guy. There it is. Another historical. There we go. We got both hands of the clock now. Okay, let's go set the time. No, you're not in my way, lady. I'm just gonna keep going. Better save now. Not sure if we're gonna have a chance after it's active. So, here we go. Wait. Just put the fucking clock hands. What were you doing all this time? Hour hand. Minute hand. And I'll set it. You were just waiting there, Max, were you? Or did he jump up to the servant's room to play his little massacre moment? You know, when we heard him scream. Did he just go through the floor, did all that, and then come back here <laughs> to wait for me? Take them and use them. Poor Max. They are humanity's only hope. Destroy the Guardians, Edward, and avenge my... That's a pretty solid quest to undertake. Restore your uh, ancestors' reputation, basically. But you can't go through the through the fireplace anymore. I don't know why they cut that access point off. And that's how Edward learned everything. Magic pool, nice. We need a five. How did I, how the fuck did I miss a five? Tear Red Gamore. Summon area. All right, one, two, three, five, seven, three, five, seven. That one's only seven. That's summon zombie, and this, I don't even know what, what this is. Not gonna dick around with that we'll get it in time so shit's about to hit the fan we can save good it's time for this chapter to begin ladies and gentlemen wait i don't have the shotgun yet hold on to your britches and your bitches So Max might have, must have uh, cut that off when he went, you know. So now we can 
see nothing, but, you know, I'll demonstrate. He's gonna go invisible right away. That's the vampire, by the way. That's the Silicon Knights vampire. He's gone invisible, but he was blue, so we're gonna use that against him. Can't get the blood out, you say? Come on, in the face. Don't finish her off, but do check this. Now, uh, reveal invisible green. <clears throat> We're gonna go with the max one. Where is it? We're gonna make him invisible and follow him. Don't let him kill everything. There he is. Just follow him, he's gonna try to kill some servants. Goes invisible. No, not him. This guy. The other dude. Run, run, pussy. Okay, good. Gotta heal. He's gonna go do that, so we gotta wait for him again. Till he goes, you know, to hurt another servant. He's regenerating. Shaken by his brush with dead, servant gives his name, blah, 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 my stupid run, extra firepower. Yeah, there we go. Gun cabinet. There we go. That's what I need. Alright. So it's the first servant he attacks. We'll see him come from somewhere shortly. Just keep the spell active. Don't forget that. Reveal invisible. Just when it expired. Beautiful. Can I save for now? No, we can't save until this part is done. Did he go to kill someone else? Maybe I should go explore. Pretty sure he's just about... Oh, there he is. He doesn't know I can see him. I think that's the gag. So he's attacking where now? In where the gun, gun cabinet is. Alright, we got him. We got him, boys and girls. Run, wuss. We need the whole key, so we're gonna have to assemble the basement key in order to get him. Elephant gun ammo, nice. And then I can unlock the gun cabinet. Which I couldn't break, for the love of me. Alright, so it's got like... Single or... What is it called? Um, double barrel mode, that's right. Single or double barrel mode. Let's move this time to restore some mana. That's what I forgot to do last time, and now I'm low on mana.
Can I do it now? Reveal invisible seven. Oh. Keep moving. Come on. Sneaky sneaky. There he is. Where is he going now? He's gonna go for one of the... Now we have a long hallway here, guy. How are you gonna pull that off? No more bullying from you. He dropped something. Here we go. Now we can go confront him, finally. He dropped it in frustration. <laughs> Wait, do I have it? Did I get it? Yeah, top half. Okay, mix with the bottom half, which I'm sure I had. Did I pick it up from the floor? Oh yeah, I did. It looks like a guitar. <laughs> and then fix it. And chant, let's say, Uliot. Let's not forget, uh, well, the shotgun's gonna be there, isn't it? She gave me shotgun shells, nice. Nice, lady. So let's not forget health's full. Use the key. Oh, shit. Gotta get him in his own lair. Oh shit. There you go. Now he he's gotta die. I'm gonna kill you invisible, you little bitch. Invisible my ass. Screw you, buddy. No respect. Shotgun shells, shotgun shells. Revolver rounds, elephant gun ammo. Mmm. His favorite wine. The guy likes wine. Likes. The guy loves wine. Shotgun shells. Ammo. Double shotgun. And more elephant gun ammo. Alright. This is just a game preparing us for the big... Big... Scary part that's coming. So that's it with the house, right? We're set. We got a shit ton of ammo. No torch for him. As far as I know, he doesn't get a light source. Not even a flashlight or something. So in we go. Can we save now? Yeah, after a while, you can save again. Dive in! Everything has to be uh, described. Inside the well, a crumbling ladder leads down into the cloying darkness. Should that ever you? Yeah, there's no other way to beat these bastards. So, this is, yeah, this is where he's gonna build an access point after they close this one up. Maximilian had not lied. The city is miraculous. It glows in the darkness like an incredible jewel, but the thought of what lies inside the guardians of Uliath makes Edward shiver with fear. Nine great towers dwarf the surrounding city. Perhaps the towers serve as a focus, channeling great tides of energy into the city itself. Well, you have no idea, my man. Look, that's a Mantorok rune. Yeah, I always forget that. This used to be a Mantorok place. Imagine just walking into an eternal darkness stream. You've never seen this. You've never heard anything about this. And just hear 
words like Uliot and Mantorok thrown around. Is it time? I think it's time to enchant shit. Enchant all three, fuck it. There you go, maximum enchant. And let's not forget the shield. Uh, shield, assign. Start with five point now. Him. Mantarok. Whoa, that's a lot of mana for a shield. Alright, boys, daddy's in the house. I mean, granddaddy's in the house. Or under the house. But you know, you know the drill by now. Just get shot and die. That's all I require from you. Nothing more, nothing less. Wow, they just took my... Oh, that's because it's shielded my sanity. This guy with a saber. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Alright, that's... Well, sanity is untouched. So no, we're not going to use that shield. Because it shields sanity as well. We're going to use simple Chaturga shield. Simple. With more demonic guttural voicing than before. 50% more even. So what does the what does the map say now? You're here now, boy. There's no coming back. There's a guardian. And there's a... Well, just one horror. That's well, not bad. That's not bad at all. He's gonna go boom. Yep. He raised the shield. Shit, we gotta dispel that. And then end him before he summons more shit. No, he's just cure him himself, I think. There was a five point shield, I'm pretty sure. So the spell, let's assign it five point green instead of magical attack here. There you go. Hi, boy. How you like an elephant gun in the face? Follow it, but don't go too close. You wanna, you wanna see it when it materializes. There he is. Hi. He was trying to protect himself. Oh, that's just a zombie, okay. Nice. That guy's gonna blow. Okay, he's dead. Hi! You you plan on dying soon, bro? Or he's just healing. Alright, I think we got it one more time. Damn, dude, will you die? No, not that. Yeah. 
He's healing. The bastard's healing. I gotta be quicker with this. Come on, materialize. You know you want to. Come on. There he is. Shit, better, better enchant something else. How many do I have? Elephant gun. Still 47. Shit, if he's gonna keep doing that, that's gonna make it a little harder, you know. Quite a bit harder. He's so fast when he wants to fly fast. Don't let him heal. Finally. Fucking finally. Those are not coming back, I'm pretty sure. I'm fairly sure. Imagine him coming back now. Like, ha <laughs> ha You're not sure. And the sword. Alright. That took, what, eight, ten elephant shells? Oh, now we're gonna have to learn the whole thing. A rune may be scribed, that's right. But we need to put... Do I need to go and pick up my... Oh, yeah, not, not yet. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's gonna run differently here. I don't go in there yet. I need to find... Yeah, that's gonna be with Alex. I should see a bunch of entrances here. There they are. One of those should be open. At least one of those should be open. That one's closed, closed. Closed as well. No, they're all closed. So it is something I have to do there. Do I have to go back to the house and grab one of those things? So they're all closed. One, two, three, four. Three, four, five. Five? Really? Two, four, six, eight, nine. There should be nine of them. Oh, yeah, but some of them branch. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I remember. So down the stairs, it's got to be in that room. I'm pretty sure I'm missing something. With st stamina like his. <laughs> uh... Maybe something behind. Oh no, I got to activate this shit. That's right. That's right. Didn't even try. And now it's gonna teleport me to another place. And you gotta activate all those runes. Do I now, right? No trappers? Okay. Not sure where I'll end up. Uh, forgot the order, so. Oh, Mortal Kombat. Let's, you know, let's have him fight. And then we'll fight the victor. Sanity's down. It's time. Wait, they're both going towards me? Why don't you guys fight each other? I don't think this will go good for me. Okay, they're fighting. That's what I want to see. 
one horror or less to fight. Whew. Okay, let's get out of here. It's the this is the easier version of this. <laughs> this is the easier version of this of City of Anga. The harder version with, is with Alex. It's not gonna be that hard just going through each of them. So with him, it's just it's almost piece of cake. With Alex, that's where you know the final one. That's when it's gonna be harder because well, she'll have more weaponry but there'll be more to do I forgot which spell I want to inscribe it gives you a clue I'm gonna go area So the second one was for area. We gotta just memorize the order in case I fucked up. But it gives you a clue. I think it wants you to... Woo! Ooh, that hurt. Alright, shotgun time. Not gonna finish the horror. Minimum sanity for me it is. Don't finish him. Here we go. Shield really, really helps. Tremendously. Which reminds me, shield was... I forgot which button. Shield down, yeah. Like double down, that's my logic for it. That's two out of nine. They'll go quickly now, they'll all fall in line. You follow the bloody river to the door of despair, and you'll be out in no time. Oh, thank you, love. I do need more water. See, we're back in the... Like I said, it's branching. The camera is just going wacky because of all the lack of sanity. I think I was just being small, but I don't know. I can't tell. Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. Finish him. No, I do mean finish him. I'm talking to you. <laughs> no. Was there a third one? Yeah, there you go. Third one. Bush, bush, bush. Oh. Trappers? No trappers. Just in case. That one and this one. I'll still roll with this. Save. <laughs> that scared me a little. Well, thank you for the thank you for the follow there, Hans Jerusalem. 
Hope you're enjoying the influx of darkness. Did he just... Did that lever just go through his belly? Green, red, and blue. Gotta remember to kill these guys later. Yeah, it is. You, you're a fellow Eternal Darkness fan, huh? It is an amazing game. Well, he's green, so I do need red. No, no. Red. Chaturga. We need Chaturga enchantment. For now. Ooh, final moment. I'm gonna get slapped, but it was worth it. Oh, I have the... I do have the... Yeah, that. Uh, I do have the... Nice. The shield. I was gonna say the shield. Woo, 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 woo. Hopefully that's the last we'll hear from him. No, he's still there. Move, 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 move. It reverses controls for a few seconds. It's really confusing. All right, he's dead for real now. Now we can finish the horror. Ow! My shield ran out, you bitch. Kite, 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 kite! Chapua! Chapua! So long, Mr. Horror. Yeah, we've just we've just seen that, yeah. Oh shit 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 shit. Good thing I didn't see him on time. I mean, good thing I did see him on time. Don't want to get teleported right now, thank you very much. I do want to reload my shotgun. We've finished Roberto's uh, chapter quite recently. I mean, in this episode, but yeah, it's a it's a really it's one of the most powerful scenes in the in the game. Did I pull that lever? Yeah, that's why they jumped out. Did I have to fight them though? I don't think so. Yeah, when you wanna when you wanna play on low sanity, you, you gotta. You gotta take these moments slowly. Because the next thing that goes after sanity is health and I'm towing that line. Especially with Edward's oh shit, with Edward's non-existent HP. Let's go next rune. Engage, cage. We're doing the th third playthrough there, Hans. And uh, is that a trapper? You know what? A pistol will tell me. We're going for the f for the f you know final, final, real, true ending, which I haven't done in ten years. So bargain again. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the spell, the spell area. That's what's go that's gonna be. Yeah, the Manta Rock ending. No, uh, don't create. Use this one instead. I think the last time I did that was 2013, so 10 years ago. Ooh, the Insanity Pit. It's not going to do anything now. It's going to be for later. Or will it, though? I think, nope. Here we go. He's gonna have a drink from the liquid courage back to his senses even though he's not but you know it's foreshadowing for later is this where i want to go i guess nope totally not wait do you have do you, did you do you actually play it on the GameCube dirty? <laughs> yeah. His flask actually restores sanity, yeah. Sorry, I got a little confused dirty. You were talking about eternal darkness, right? I 
Ah, I see. I had it borrowed from my friend for years until I got my own copy. So I would just borrow it from my friend and, you know, ask him, Hey, can I get Eternal Darkness for a few weeks? I want to play it. But now I don't have to do that. Whenever I want to play it, I, I can just jump on and play it. Let's do the enchantments now. I don't know what's waiting after each... After each teleport, so... It's a great contrast how the game portrays all the human misery as some plot of celestial gods, but in the end it was simply human doing. Yeah. Well, uh, Eternal Darkness on Demand. <laughs> the, uh, it is, like, Pi if you mean Pius is doing, yeah. But what a lot of people miss, and I mentioned it earlier, like, the Ancients are not some demonic beings or God knows what. No, they're just fucking aliens that landed on Earth a long time ago. They have, ex you know, huge... They, they hold huge power, each of them, but... So, since it's Uliot, we're going with Zelotath. So that gives it, uh, that polarizes the enchantment. The portals are now green, so we've changed it. Alright, save now better. We, we just know all the four ancients, right? But there could be a lot more. Oh boy, oh boy, good thing I did this. Make him move. I think he just healed. Did you heal? Better reload after each. Keep the elephant gun smooth and running. Come on, materialize, you little fuck. He doesn't want to do it if you're too close. You gotta step away, then shoot him in the face. Reload, or just at least chase him. Don't let him cast magic. Oh shit, no time for that. Two bullets. It's like an outbreak, you gotta hold the button while you reload. And each bullet is reloaded manually, basically, by the character. Which I like when games do that. When reloading actually counts, you know. There you go, he's dead. Nice. Pius Augustus, man. Uh, we were just laughing earlier how, you know, Richard Doyle bo voices both Uliath and Pius, so whenever Pius is groveling before Uliath, he's just, it's the same guy talking to himself. Different, you know, recording sessions probably, but still. Alright, we're almost... We've, we've done over half of these. So it should open on the other side. No, it should open behind. I guess two more will end here. In reality. Not many sanity effects uh, in this chapter, really. Like, with Edward, there's really not much. So might as well keep the sanity up just so the screen's not as crooked. He's not really experienced. Last time, too, I think... He, just in his chapter, once you're out of the house at least, you trip less balls. So let's put some sanity in there. Do the shield. Five point is enough at this point of the game. Could we do a seven point shield? Certainly. But, you know, they're not that threatening, really. Is there a trapper there? No. Good. Right, moment of truth. I think this is for the big rune. Nope, just bargain. Never mind. Moment of truth averted. Let's enchant all three. You never know. Need them off. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. David Hater. <laughs> that's that's really funny. I think as they were uh, making Silicon Knights was developing uh, Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes at the same time. They used David Hater and uh, damn it, I, all, I forgot the guy's name again. Colonel uh, Campbell's voice actor. He he voices Paul Luther. He voices uh, someone else early on. I forgot whom. But someone earlier in the game, he's also there. And a lot of, you know, a lot of Legacy of Kane voice actors, because uh, I guess Silicon Knights. So that's it. Save. We got the shield. Oh shit, I should heal though. Here we go. Nice, so you're, you're really a fan of this game. Oh yeah, he was he was the that's right, he was the the sect member, let's call him. Anthony's killer you mean, right? More? Any more of them? I think that's it. Cool. Damn, Edward, your sanity, I mean, your stamina sucks. Well, he's his color. I like that. So stamina is the only hidden stat I can think of. So their sanity, their mana, and their health really, you know, goes along with their ch character always. But uh, their stamina as well. You can't see the stamina meter, but it's there. And you can see when they start limping like that. Becomes a limpy biscuit. Yeah, yeah. It's always good to meet uh, a fellow Eternal Darkness enthusiast. Alright, rest, Edward. We got work to do, man. Can't do it. Such thin legs, such low stamina. You should be flying through this, breezing, just almost kidding. Nope, he's already tired. Maybe if we leave in a few seconds. He'll be able to run more than five meters. Two more, okay. Pretty sure second to last is gonna be the the second important one. So no, never mind. I'll remember. Pretty sure it's the spell field here. Only one pillar with trappers so far. It's no, it's bargain. Okay, the last one then. Last one has to be it. All right, since you're tripping balls, we're not using mana on anything else. There's some sanity for you, boy. And also, again, not sure what weights there. For me, it's really hard to choose between, you know, what I like the most, but I do love that part a lot. He's zombifying as he goes. That's just horrible to think about. It's got a dose of fridge horror to it, but yeah. And especially if you're holding the torch, I like doing that, holding the torch, and then it'll show a zoom on his face and show show the decay, you know, setting in. It's amazing. Poor Anthony. So I think from saddest, the top three saddest endings are Max, Anthony, and Kareem. They're all, like, a lot of them are sad. Even Peter Jacobs' chapter ends on a depressing note, knowing that he couldn't sleep. Oh, that's a guardian. If it's chanting, it's a guardian. All right, so we're going to need one of these. Okay. Yeah, he did, but it's sad, like, he looks at uh, Chandra, was his, his fiance's name, she's still standing behind him, you know, when Roberta comes there, she's still standing there, 
cat, her face is still disfigured from, you know, what she endured for being a cheating, lying. Oh. She says, you know, she's suffering from for what she, but that's not the point. It's not the point to make her suffer. It's, oh shit. Look, I'm, pa oh my God, look, that's wonderful. I caught the panning moment. I pressed B. <laughs> Just at the moment he was falling on, onto his ass. I've never done it like this. And we're looking at, around the room. That's, that's, that's rare. There's the, it, the, the guardian is still there, semi-visible. Reload. Follow it slowly. Come on. Materialize, yeah. You gotta give it some space. They're very shy when materializing. Don't let him come to senses. Oh shit, he's moving. Never mind. I wouldn't do that. He's gonna use that moment to materialize and just start casting spells. But you gotta hurry, dude. My enchantment is... I'm not gonna make it. Alright, I'll just... I'll still shoot him. No. That's what I wanted. Fuck, I fucked up. That's okay. Did he heal him? Not sure, but let's find out. One, two, all right. Just, just place yourself in the material plane, man. They're really slow, the Uliad Guardians. I forgot that. Much easier to kill Chaturga or Zeltad Guardian at this point. Where the fuck are you? Did you go into the... Oh, there he is. He's about to morph. Well, morph rise. Come on. Come on. Damn shy bastard. A pit where natural combatants once faced one another seeking to shed blood in the name of some unfathomably hard dark god. Die, bitch. Alright, let's finish a guardian. Since we're not going minimal sanity in this one, there's no point. In this chapter specifically. We can just cut him into pieces. Hiya! Look at the sanity return. Uh, this is chapter 9, I think. So we're very close to the end. Not gonna finish it tonight, honestly. But uh, next episode, which should be probably next Tuesday. I'm playing this next time. We will finish it. I wanted to do... I was gonna do two chapters, but then it turned into three chapters. And here we are. An hour later. <laughs> Let's get out of here. So one more after this. I do need the lever. Could I have just pushed the lever without killing them? I never tried that. I'm always like, since I'm here, I'm gonna just gonna shoot him in the face. I think I could have just done that and left. Next time, gotta remember to try it. Just don't dance his dance. It's over there. All right. Come on, Edward. You can do it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Take a breath. Are we good? Can we go? You're gonna collapse on me after a few feet? No, this way. Not gonna let you fall down again. All right, one more, one more, and that's gonna damage Enga severely. Good. 
go, Edward. At least the floor is not lava like later with Alex. Oh no, there's two more. Fuck, I can't count. So now, now is gonna be the important room. That's why I, it's the second to last. That's the important room. I was like, why is it not? Why didn't it happen that time? Yeah, you can see by the towers. Okay. So now, protect, project, dispel, absorb, summon. We're going with the dispel. And the final one will be Pargan that'll set it all in motion. Let's say those two. Not even gonna save. Fairly sure I'm not gonna die at this point. Yeah, there's a guardian here as well. This way? Wait, but I do need the lever, which is back here, right? Don't know what the Guardian's doing. Maybe I shouldn't interrupt him. Oh, he's protecting that area. Okay, got it. He killed him. He killed the... He killed the... Alright, now it's time for you to fly. I'm just gonna try to avoid him. Look at this. Because they're so dull to kill. Yeah, there you go. Fuck you, guy. I pulled your lever. What you gonna do now? Teleport after me? No! That was just... That was just a middle finger to him. Uh, no, that's the, that's the very last... So this is her grandfather. Sorry, I missed that for 12 two minutes. Um, this is Edward, the, the narrator, the guy that dies at the beginning. So his granddaughter is reading this and hers will be the last chapter where you do the same thing only in the present. This is the 19, 1952. So we're going to learn how grandpa died, you know, what kickstarted the game. No, that's Maximilian. That's their older ancestor from colonial times, colonial America. Uh, Edward's in the 50s. He's the one who's narrating everything and who, who's dead at the beginning of the game. All right, here we go. It's time. I think we got the, the right enchantment. It should be the spell. Yeah, I get... So, last time... I last played it last Halloween. Played the Zelotath and Chaturga. Uh, did Zelotath and Chaturga playthroughs. And I had to go back to my old uh, VODs just to remember, you know, the order the chapters go in. Just in case... Like I... Just like you, you know, things get mixed up. Especially since you go to the same locations in different times, you know. Blah blah, incredible energies building up inside the city can can contain can't contain it for for only so long, boy. You better run. Man, the GameCube controller really shakes. Well, like, when it's vibrating, it's not fucking around. It's like full-on vibration. It's shaking like bu -bu 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 -bu. hitting my arms pretty hard.
brum, brum, brum. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's... Another guy. Oh god, there's quite a few guys here. How about just ignore them? Where's the handle though? I think it's gonna be behind the boss guy. Yeah, that's one of the heavier jump scares in the game, the bathtub scene. Better refresh it. If he just keeps repeating that, that means he didn't see us yet. Crazy again. Wait, didn't I do that? He's protecting the lever, and that's all he's doing. There you go, you don't have to fight him. Just get out of there. Trolley, trolley, trolley. See you later, boy. Spell. Okay, let's go. Maximum recover stamina. See ya, buddy. Here we go. There's a lot of them here. Goodbye, Enga. Well, for now. <gasps> this is a good ex ex exit. If there were a timer, like in Michael's chapter later. I just gotta get to the balcony, I think. Literally wiped them off. Dispel everything blue. Everything Uliots with Zelothat's might. Forty-eight years later. I'm just gonna shut down, read my favorite book. Definitely not gonna die on this day of all days, because I'm holding a book, you see. That's why there was no head. His chapter ends in darkness, literally. Master, I am saddened to report the destruction of the Guardian Colony at the ruin of Enga. I am not without eyes, sir. <laughs> He's... I knew it's the same voice actor, again. It is not a concern of mine. The Guardians were merely tools to forward the greater cause. Think of them as casualties of war. But the balance of power has shifted with their loss. Nonsense! Balance? There has never been balance. 
If anything, we shall remove all balance. Our plan continues as predicted. I have seen the future, Pius, and it portends a great battle between myself and the great being of matter. Chaturga will fall to my superiority. The power of Chaturga is useless against me. Of course. As it was meant to be. Meant. The gates will be readied. Just the same. We shall overcome. Be patient, my servant. They're not even in this dimension. Mentorok banished them into another plane of existence. Like completely different universe. A note from Edward. Dear Alex, I have left you a small surprise to keep you going when everything seems to go awry. awry. It was my favorite tipple and there are several barrels of it in the basement. Please help yourself to what you can find. My guess is that I won't be needing it. Your loving grandfather, Edward. Well, that's an excellent gift from uh, grandfather to granddaughter. Wine. Fucking alcohol. Hell yeah. Alright, guys, that's all for tonight. Really, yeah, the third chapter was maybe too much, but I didn't end it. want to end it in two. It's not too much. I had enjoyment. I'm not going to lie. So let's see who we're going to raid. We're going to raid. Wait, I saw someone there. We're going to raid Puff Comedy, who's playing Resident Evil Remake. Nice. Rarely do I see Puff streaming at, you know, at this time, but... Uh... Oh, Left Poop Poop, you're still there, man. I thought you went to bed. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. Say hi to Pav and RE1 Remake. Did I do that right? You can never trust this shit. Pav Comedy, there he is. Okay. Nice. Glad you enjoyed. Thanks for the thanks for the follow again, uh, Hans. Uh, see you tomorrow, guys. We'll tomorrow, like I said, tomorrow's 50-50. We might not make it, but if we make it, it's gonna be Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance for the PS2. Till next time, stay well, everyone.